Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. It's been a great day. I hope you, hopefully you guys had a great day. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got Dr. Pryor and Dr. Yuzendu. They're here to talk about the impact of the pandemic and the disparities within different communities. Welcome, doctors, to the Valder BB Show. Well, welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having I'm us. I'm going to start with you, Dr. Pryor, if I can. We talk. I said a little bit about the disparities, but CPR seems to be a disparity. Why? Tell me why would CPR be in a disparity, and why is it so important for my audience to learn about CPR? Yeah. Well, simply put, CPR can save lives. Um, you know, every year there are about 350,000 people who suffer cardiac arrests outside of the hospital setting, and by cardiac arrest, kind of referring to the heart stops beating and stops effectively beating. And as you know, the heart's role is really to circulate blood throughout our body. It delivers this oxygenated blood to our organs, you know, most notably the brain. And if the brain is not getting that oxygenated blood, after about four minutes or so, you can have permanent damage. So CPR is a technique that if somebody is found down, you can uh, apply this technique, help to circulate that blood throughout the body until more definitive help comes. You know, there was a, you talk about disparities. There was a recent survey uh, done by the American Heart Association. It was funded by the Anthem Foundation. And it found that in uh, Hispanic Latino communities and in Asian communities in particular, there was more hesitance and not being able to, you know, move forward and and provide uh, the CPR if needed. So we are trying to talk about, you know, health, health equity. We want good outcomes for all communities. And that's why we're here today during uh, CPR Awareness Week. Okay, I'll come back and ask you about the hesitancy, but I want to talk to Dr. Yuzindu. Doctor, you can speak from a different perspective because I heard that you recently survived a cardiac arrest. Could you tell us about your experience? Yeah, I sure did. Um, so um, I was the one of the 350,000 people that suffer cardiac arrest uh, each year. And so a thousand people each day have a cardiac arrest and I suffered one at the age of 25. And so not necessarily the age demographic that you think to suffer a life threatening event like that, but it happened to me while I was on the basketball court. Um, but, you know, thankfully there were people there that knew CPR and um, knew how to use an AED, which is a defibrillator that can kind of help shock the heart into rhythm. Um, and they acted right away. They saw that I was down, that I wasn't responding, I wasn't breathing normally, which are kind of the two signs that someone's having a cardiac arrest. A, they're not responding. B, they're not breathing normally. So they saw that, um, started CPR right away, activated the emergency response team. Um, and then they were able to get the EMS providers there who whisked me away to the hospital and then kind of continued care for me. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about disparities and, you know, um, people from minority communities not receiving bystander CPR at the same rate, not surviving at the same rate. Um, it, you know, it has really been a focus of the American Heart Association, I think, healthcare across the country to realize overall there's, you know, poor outcomes. There's low rates of bystander CPR, but especially in communities like the ones I grew up in. Um, and so we're really trying to make sure that we are connecting and really bridging that gap and providing the resources available um, so that uh, our communities can help save lives. Well, I'm so glad that your community was very on the, on the job in a sense, so to say, and that you're here to talk about that experience. Dr. Pryor, let me ask you, what are some uh, ways that people can increase their training and knowledge of CPR so that no bystander goes unattended? Yes, well, I would direct uh, your listeners to the website, uh, heart.org. Uh, slash uh, uh, hands-only CPR. That is a great resource from the American Heart Association's website. 
that uh, gives you information about uh, hands-only CPR, about where to get training. Uh, so that's where I really would direct people to. And I would say that again, with this hands-only CPR, you don't have to worry about providing these mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and rescue breaths. It has really been simplified over the last 10 years or so. So it really is about calling 911, starting the chest compressions, about 100 to 120 compressions uh, per minute. And uh, oftentimes you can uh, you know, follow your favorite songs like Staying Alive by the Bee Gees or Beyonce's, uh, uh, some of her songs as well, just to keep you in that rhythm. But it is you know, uh, firm, uh, fast chest compressions. And it may only be for a few minutes until emergency services comes and then, uh, then you have really helped save somebody's life. I thank you both so very much for talking about this and bringing this to the forefront. And talking about something that impacts, obviously, uh, uh, quite a number of people. So the next time, you know, they say sometimes, you know, and when you see something, say something. So I say when you see something, you do something. But we're going to be exactly. prepared by taking some information about CPR. Thank you, doctors. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.